guys it has been a trying time in the Duchi kingdom as they have lost a son nephew brother and grandson Kampili Chuku Leo Yule Duchi has passed on oh may he so rest in peace Kambi, as he is formally called by his friends and family, turned 16 a few months ago. A vibrant young boy who still had his whole life ahead of him. Yul Edoche, who is Kambi's father, is one of the sons of the veteran Nollywood actor Pet Edoche. Yul is the last of six children. He got married quite early at 22 to his beautiful wife, May Edoche, and they have four children together. Yul had a perfect family, perfect to the optics, until one day, Yul Edoche took to his Instagram page to share a photo of himself and a young baby boy, about a year old, making it known to his fans that he had increased the number of his kids, hmm, through another woman. People's shock turned into rage real fast when they realized that the alleged second wife was Judy Austin, one of his colleagues. According to trusted sources, the affair had been going on for years. Instead of him keeping it as an affair that it was, he went as far as getting married to her and fathering a son with her. May couldn't keep up with the betrayer, so she put her foot down and insisted that she would not be a part of a polygamous marriage. In other words, she isn't and will never be anybody's sister wife, as it was neither their agreement nor does it conform to her religion as a Catholic. Jew was without remorse, claimed that as an African man, you know, he is allowed to be polygamous with continuous emphasis. He kept saying it online, offline, he said it to anybody who cared to hear. And as for the other woman, Judy, she constantly took to social media to taunt me and heap praises and accolades on you, calling him the best husband in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, that was how the one sweet marriage of you and Edochi went sour. Can't be just turned 16. He was gradually metamorphosing into a young, gorgeous and fine man. Nothing. Just nothing prepared us for what was about to happen in a few months. This particular Tuesday, after Kambi was done writing his exams, he decided to play soccer with his friends. Reports have it that while playing, Kambi suddenly slumped and had a seizure. He was immediately rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Was it lack of basic medical emergency? such as CPR or was it a spiritual attack as people are speculating as they strongly believe the spiritual controls the physical, you know. At this point, guys, if you are watching and you are from a polygamous family, share your thoughts and ideas in the comment section. I would like to know, do you think it's peaceful or truly diabolic as people say? What are your thoughts about polygamy? Please drop it down below. People have accused Judy outrightly for being responsible for Kambi's death. Before I wrap this video up, it is interesting to know that few people have noted that in Africa, particularly in Nigeria, there are great consequences when a man sleeps or marries another man's wife. Could this be such could this could this be a repercussion or such an act as Judy was married to another man? What does your culture say concerning this? Please also drop in the comment section. Now, May has started with divorce proceedings. She has decided to leave Yul and Judy in the marriage officially. She has locked herself in a room and talking to no one, mourning her son alone. Sources around overheard her calling her lawyers, both in Nigeria and the ones abroad. Obi Kubana and AY are fully in support of any action she wants to take. More spiritual leaders are coming out with more scarier prophecies and according to them, May will be the next to lose her life. Hmm. I feel really bad, so bad for the family, especially for me. Nothing can compare to the love between a mother and her first son. 
Hmm. May just lost another confidence. So much pain. May God grant her all the comfort she needs. So guys, with heavy hearts, we have come to the end of this video. Don't forget to engage in this video. Do well to subscribe to this channel. Turn on your bell notification and give this video a thumbs up. And stay glued for the next one. This is just splash. And for now, bye. And see you in our next one.